my name is Lotta Jorgensen. It's a pleasure to be here in Napa Valley, all the way from Sweden. I'm art director and co-founder of Full Magazine. And I'm Per Anders, or PA, which is easier. And I'm also the uh, co-editor-in-chief and uh, of Full Magazine and photographer. <laughs> We try to summon up how we get all the inspiration and everything, and we take a lot of iPhone snaps and uh, we compress them with some crazy music. And uh, this is from where we take our inspiration, I would say. Yes, this is a little bit of our crazy word, or the foolish word of fool. Um, we always get this question, how did you think about this idea to make a food magazine? And it actually started a long time ago. I'm an art director and I was doing in many magazines before, but in different fields, not food. And uh, when I was asked the question to do a food magazine, uh, I was thinking, this is 17 years ago, hmm, if I'm going to do a food magazine, I really would like to do something with the photography in the magazine. I want to do something different because the food photography, 70 years, 17 years ago, was a little bit dull, I must say. And so I wanted to work with some of the photographers I used to work with doing portraits, fashion, and architecture photography. So I asked these photographers, can you please shoot food for me? And they said, yes. It was a very nice uh, result. It was Swedish Gourmet magazine. And so when we met 10 years ago, and uh, we got married, or is it 11? I'm not really sure. I have to look at the ring almost. We decided we wanted to do a food magazine that was different from the food magazines around. We wanted to do a food magazine with not a chocolate cake on the cover. No, we wanted to do, we had a very strong idea from the very start. We wanted to do a food magazine that could feature black and white cover, we wanted to do a food magazine without recipes, actually, because uh, we were thinking about our inspirations, which were, I would say, f actually f fashion magazines as well, like Vogue. So does Vogue have any sewing patterns? No, not really, because you buy Vogue to be inspired, and we wanted to uh, do a magazine to inspire people. And. We have been working in, with food for a long time. So we have a very good uh, network of people that we know. And we love to spend time with them and tell their stories. And we also love to, to tell stories about not only chefs, but producers of food, fishermen and farmers. Yeah, and actually all you see here back here are photos and stuff from the magazine that we like to, to run for you and uh, there are no captions, nothing like uh, inspiration for you. And this inspiration is also inspiration for us. I think we, we spend time with all of these people and we would like to tell these stories about what they're doing. And I mean, spending time with, uh, in, in, in a dairy farm where they do uh, cheese, you have the smell, you have the sound, or being here in, in Bangkok with David Thompson, you have the sound of pounding of uh, chili paste, and you have the smell in the nose, it's really, really strong. Yes, actually it's about discoveries for us as well. 
we travel and we try to do things differently. We try to spend time, as Lotta said. We try to spend a lot of time. With Sean Brock, who was on the, well, the latest cover, we spent like five days trying to tell about his world. And it turned out mainly images, actually, and captions. So we try to do things in a different way and devote time to these people we love a lot. Because it's really important to us to inspire others to start to think differently about food. It's so easy to, to look up on the internet and see how food looks like in different restaurants or maybe how a cheese looks like as well. And, but you can never really get the taste. You can never get the, the experience from being in a restaurant, the feeling of how the food is presented how the chefs are actually presenting the food to you as a guest. Exactly. And, well, as you see, there are quite a lot of chefs in here, also famous chefs on these, in these images, like Michel Bra here, but we, which is running on a field, of course. <laughs> He's running a lot. <laughs> He's running a lot. And we, we try to do things quite honestly as well, not pushing two people people into, to, well, awkward situations. It's more about being the observer. That's how we try to, to work. And I love, as you probably have guessed and seen, shooting black and white images of people as well. Uh, and it's so nice to have this, this magazine that we actually can shoot portraits. And I can shoot portraits the way I want to. Because if we want to devote 10 pages to something, we do that. It's, uh, we, don't, we, we have some ideas, of course, before we go, but we are very open to what is uh, happening and what the well, circumstances, I would say, to, to, to find new solutions and uh, new stories even, I would say, when traveling. Yeah, it's so important to open all the senses to, to what food is and the total experience of this and to, to rediscover and be curious and do research in a different way and not just to take what somebody else has been doing. Now, we, we tried, as you see from this image here, for instance, that's an image from, from, from China. And normally, Chinese food is presented on Chinese plates that looks from China. But we want to people to view these images in a fresher way without actually being tainted by the Chinese uh, plates, which can be extremely expensive. But to us Westerners, they don't really mean that much. So we, and also, this is Ben Shuri holding a soup in his hands. <laughs> because that soup was more or less like eating the taste of the sea. It was fantastic. And we really wanted to show that in an image. So how is it to eat the sea? Yes, you take, go for swimming, and then you lift up the water. And, well, you, you don't get the soup like that in the restaurant, obviously. But that's how it feels, if the feeling of eating the soup, actually. Exactly. And to sum it up, it's, to us it's really about inspiring others and uh, telling about things that we really think matter. It may be produce, farmer, chef. We like to connect people and uh, make them speak. Yes, because there are a lot of people actually calling us, wanting us to connect them to some of the people we have been writing about. It can be everything from a person making perfume to a person, a chef. Yeah. And that's, when, when you get those emails, it's one of the proudest moments and we feel we really accomplished something. Yeah.